stay with the squad, yo. Trap at any spot, yo. My new bitch got long hair. Hate on me, I don't care. Brand new Jordans came out. All right. A cyber phase that you see on the screen is a cyber phase, I believe, of one of the devs. I believe one of the devs have this as their Twitter main image. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip that cyber face into a Spider-Man. Uh, the point of this video actually is to show you guys how to keep up with your modded cyber faces using the uh, cyber face lookup tool. That is the full point of this video. So we're going to use Zaire Smith. And what we're going to do is we're going to change his face over to Spider-Man. So there's a few ways you could do this. You could use Lemnono Trainer or Cheat Engine. So using Lemnono Trainer, uh, let's see. I'm going to click the Refresh Roster button. And I go to Zaire Smith. And then... You can see his CFID is 7715. I'm going to change it to 6001 and press refresh roster so that it sticks. Now, the other button is just view highlighted player. But anyway, once we go into edit player, now you'll see the face change. The key with this is with Nono Trainer, make sure you change the face ID outside of edit player. If you're going to use Lemnono Trainer to change your Cyberface ID, make sure you do it in one of the roster menu screens and not inside of Edit Roster. So, if you didn't hear what I said, make sure you rewind that, play it back so you understand. Now we go to the Cyberface Lookup tool, and you see the numbers there in the middle. We're going to scroll down to 6001. If you see that little yellow box on the side, that very last four, well, the last four digits, you'll see, I'm going to look for 6,001, if I can get to it. Let's see, that's 5,000. Let's see if I can go down. Nah, I'm going to have to go back. Yeah, 6,001, there it is. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to click here, click this line, click edit. And now, since I know this is one of the 2K devs, I'm going to type in 2K dev slash Spider-Man because the original Cyberface is a 2K dev, but then the modded Cyberface is Spider-Man. So I get out of those screens. So now anytime I want to remember where which Cyberface ID is Spider-Man, I just come to the tool, type Spider-Man, type search, and it comes up like this with the Cyberface ID. And, and yeah, there we have it. So, let's see what else. Yeah, so as you guys can see on the screen, uh, it just, it's there. It's, it'll be there anytime you want to know where the Spider-Man Cyberface is. If you want to assign it to a new roster, you can just go right into that tool. So anyway, let's jump into assigning faces via Cheat Engine. Now, this is a Cheat Engine from K-Smiz. Um, I left a link in the in a past video, but I'll leave a link again to the form thread where I got this from. Now, again, this is credit to K-Smiz. Now, as you can see, the portrait ID is correct, 7715. That's the regular Zyre Smith portrait, but the CFID is showing 6001 because that's what I changed it to. Now, when you're using Cheat Engine, when I'm on this particular table, as you can see, it says I should be in the edit player screen. So I am in the edit player screen. So I'm going to change that 6001 back to Zyre Smith. Typed in the wrong number there. All right. Click OK. He already has the uh he has the cyberface list also so that's real good all right so i save my changes and exit and then you can see in the background it already changed back to zyre smith so this is what we want this is what we wanted but anyway um you know if you want to use lemonono trainer make sure you change the face id outside of edit player and if you use Cheat Engine, 
you can have the option to do it while you're in edit player or outside of edit player. You have both options. But uh, yeah, so just re review the video so you guys can understand that. Um, this video is mostly about showing you how to use this tool to keep track of your modded cyber faces. And it's no need to press press save on that tool to automatically do it. Next video, I think I'm going to show you how to keep up with multiple looks for a specific player.